Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move video clips frame by frame in Adobe Premiere 2021. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere 2021. So when we open up the software, I've got a sample project in here and it's just my little introduction here. And then we've got the subscribe and then I've got this tutorial here where I'm speaking about installing DaVinci Resolve, right? So if I scrub across this timeline and the objective of this tutorial is showing you how to nudge uh, video clips or move them frame by frame so when you click on a video clip here's an adjustment layer above and here's a video clip below if you hold down the alt key on your keyboard and use the arrow keys the left and right arrow key you can actually nudge the video clip frame by frame this is quite important when you especially got a lot of layers stacked and you want to make really sort of finite adjustments to your video content on your timeline then you can hold down the alt key and use the left and right arrow keys to nudge the um, the video clip you can also do that with other elements like adjustment layers for example right so if we were to snap this back here typically i use this in my in my content editing i use it on things like adjustment layers so this adjustment layer basically is masking or blurring out this information that i'm filling in here so if i wanted to just click on the adjustment layer i can hold down the alt key and use the arrow keys just to nudge that adjustment layer just so that it sits exactly where i want it to sit in terms of overlaying on this particular uh, piece of video content right so we can zoom in here a little bit if we zoom in and click on that adjustment layer hold down the alt key then you can see it moving uh, a bit more clearly now right using the left and right arrow keys you can just hold it down as well hold down the left and the right arrow key to move it a bit quicker you can do that on adjustment layers you can do that on audio clips so you can move back to the beginning here here's an audio clip i can hold down the alt key and use the left and right arrows to nudge the audio clip as well so it works on all types of content it'll even work on images right so if we go right down to the end of this edit here we've got an image right here so we can see this still image in the background if i were to click on it let's just uh, zoom out a little bit to make life a little easier and this is the actual uh, image if I use the alt, uh, the alt key and the arrow keys, I can adjust and nudge the um, the image as well. You can also hold down the shift key, select multiple items. So you can select multiple content. Let's say all of this block here, for example. Let's zoom out a little bit uh, to here. And this whole block, now I can hold down the alt key and, and nudge the whole block as well. You can also group content together. So I can press Control and G to group it. I can left click out then click on that group hold down the alt key and nudge that as a group as well there's quite a few different ways to um you know move content on your timeline frame by frame but that's basically how it works depending on uh, or it's irrelevant or the type of content you've got in the timeline just hold down that alt key and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the, uh, the content frame by frame. So hopefully you find that useful. If you're doing quite complex edits, then this is a nice way to, to align your content clean on your timeline, especially when you've got lots of stacks of layers of different types of content. Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully, hopefully you find it useful. Um, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.